by the hammer of Thor! What's up guys, it's the Bowtie Man here. Today we're going to review Seesaw, and here's the product hype video. Seesaw is a learning journal that empowers students to showcase what they're learning at school. Students each get their own journal and can easily add items just by taking a picture. You can also add video, drawings, or anything from the camera roll. Seesaw's camera detects if it's being held steady before taking a picture and two taps is all it takes to add a voice explanation, drawing, or text. Next, students pick their name from the class list and add the item to their journal. It's that easy. Students as young as five are using Seesaw with minimal teacher supervision. Teachers can browse items from the whole class or review a single student's work. Seesaw helps keep everything organized and in one place. Seesaw journals are accessible from anywhere, on iPads, iPhones, and on the web, making them great to refer back to for parent-teacher conferences, assessments, or student self-reflection. When teachers approve new items, parents are automatically notified, giving parents a personalized glimpse into their child's day and a conversation starter for later. Parents can view only their child's journal and student journals are kept completely private. Setting up your class takes just 30 seconds. Download Seesaw in the App Store and get started. Now, what Seesaw does, Seesaw is a digital portfolio app that allows students to submit all kinds of work to the cloud in order for the teacher to, e to respond easily to. And so my take on Seesaw, first off, it really is, solves one of the biggest issues in schools with tablets. It solves that issue of how do I get the work from the tablet to the teacher and it works really really well with young kids because there uh, there is a QR code login so all the kids have to do to log in to submit work is scan a QR code and it really does solve one of those biggest the biggest issues with tablets because you can submit things from the camera roll you can go and create on there you can submit photos you can submit almost anything on there and it also has added two really new two features that used to be separate in like separate apps. Um, you'd have to get one app for each is what I mean. They weren't separate apps from Seesaw, but you'd have to get one app for each. And the first is that you can actually do narrated whiteboard videos in Seesaw. So for things like Edge of Creations and Show Me, you can actually do those in Seesaw now. Um, and so you have that all kind of all in one app and that's really great. The other thing they've added is they've added student blogs. And so student blogs, you can do those within Seesaw. So you have this one app where, especially with young kids, you can do this all together. Um, and what's really nice too is you can set it where students can actually reflect on each other's work and they can critique each other's work. But best of all with Seesaw is that it's currently free. Now my overall EdTech view here, Seesaw is a wonderful, wonderful app. It's one of my favorite, favorite apps out there um, because it solves that kind of big question of how do I get a work from a tablet to the teacher where the teacher can, review, can um, see it. And so it really solves that question. And they just keep getting better too because they add some of the things that we were using in EdTech in the classroom, like the narrated whiteboard videos, like blogs, into this one kind of easy format for kids. So especially with the younger kids, this is a great app, but it's still a great app for the older kids too because it makes those things easy.